Houston, what's all that racket back there? Um, our baby chicks and our ducks. Baby chicks and ducks. I didn't think we were getting ducks. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. Houston's back there checking on our chicks. We're not driving down the road. We're at a gas station. <laughs> so we're multitasking. Uh, you know, it seems like we're going nonstop all the time. Go, 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 go. Just didn't order chicks this year, so we are in a neighboring town that has like Tractor Supply, Orslands, the big farm stores like that that our little town doesn't have. So Houston wanted to stop and get some chicks. And for some goofy reason, we bought two ducks. But here's the reason. Mom's a photographer and she wanted a couple ducks for baby ducks for her Easter mini sessions. So we got a couple more ducks. Yeah. Anyway, so we bought some well summer chicks. We bought some uh, Rhode Island red. No, we didn't. We bought well summer chicks. We bought some buff Orpington pullets and about a dozen uh, Cornish cross meat, Cornish cross meat birds. So we got some uh, meat birds. Daddy. What's that? Um, that box is already dirty. That box is already dirty? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We got a ball game to go to, so hopefully we can keep these little guys cuddled up and warm here in the vehicle. It's not like it's cold outside today. And then uh, we'll get them home, get them put in a brooder, and then they'll be off and running. Yep, it, we're going to run. We're not going to run. The chicks will be off and running. Anything you want to say? Nope. Nope. So I always kind of have to settle a misconception on my channel. I do work a full-time job. We have three kids that are always busy with activities. So I like this week. There's a month. I'm off Sunday, Monday. Sunday, we went to church yesterday. Today's Monday. I don't know when this will get posted, but just for example, Sunday, we went to church, left church. Had to drive about an hour and a half for a basketball tryout for, for Weston. And, um, you know, we didn't get home till late that night. And then Monday, today, we got up, got the kids ready for school, took the kids to school. Mom and I had to go check out a place for her to do pictures. And then we went to the gym, got back about 11. And then, so I had from about 11 to three, put out a couple videos. Well, no, didn't put them out. Actually shot a couple videos. Um, got that done, loaded up, went back to town to pick up Knucklehead back there. And then now we're headed to the baseball game, pulling up in the, at the field right now. Got an awesome driver. She always drives for me. <laughs> And uh, because dad doesn't like to drive. Oh, I do too like to drive. No, you don't. So we're headed to the baseball game. We'll be here till probably 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know. Be here late tonight. Get home. Hopefully, we'll get those baby chicks put in a brooder. Get up and start all over again. But uh, so many people seem to think this is what we do full time as far as YouTube ow, and ow, ow, small farm ow, homestead type stuff. Ow, but. We are just normal people who have very busy lives, and you guys only really get to see about a small fraction of the day-to-day -day stuff. I just tend, to, and it's maybe my fault, I just seem to show the, the fun stuff on the farm and the kind of cool homesteady type stuff, not the busy life stuff. So here's a busy life vlog. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. So busy. Busy, busy.
bot in the tub over here. You got a duck. Easy. We gotta hurry up and get them in there so we can get them some water and a heat lamp, okay? You got one of your ducks? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we we finally made it back from baseball. It's uh, 9.23 p.m. We gotta get Houston in and go to bed. For He's got school tomorrow. But I say all this, I know this is a very random video that uh, kinda doesn't flow probably, but I say all that to say, you know, in order for us to be able to do the things we do, we have to make sacrifices. And and we're not a full-time homesteading, off-grid type family. We're a normal family that has three kids who are involved in a lot of activities and do a lot of things. And it's it's constant work. It's it's work to get to be able to do these kind of things. And it's something that that anyone anybody out there can do. I get so many comments on my channel, people saying that that we're kind of living your dream we're living your dream life and i want you to understand that that it's still a busy life for us we don't just chill here at the house and raise animals and raise a garden and it, it's it's non-stop we're always constantly on the go we're always constantly on the move but we're still able to get a lot of this stuff done around here you know in the homestead type world i guess you'd say small farm things we can still do these things. You know, yesterday was Sunday. Weston tried out for a um, traveling basketball team. I, I don't know if he'll get to do that. I don't know if our family will be able to make that sacrifice and do that or not. But he's also playing high school baseball. Emily's playing softball. This little guy back here is going to be playing t-ball this year. That's a full schedule alone. Plus, I work full time. My wife. Doesn't have a full-time job, but she's a photographer, so she's she's working, and uh, it's it it's not easy, but it's the life we choose, and it's the life we enjoy. It's the life that that this little guy, you know, deserves to live. In my opinion, he needs to be able to come out here and see these baby ducks, these baby chicks. You know, I I went out and bought 15 meat birds. 15 Cornish cross really isn't going to feed a family of five for very long. And I don't raise a lot of meat birds, but I want to raise some to show my kids where their food comes from. You know, we may not be able to provide a year's worth of food or a year's worth of chicken with 15 birds, obviously, but it's symbolic. It shows, it gives me a, a tool to teach my kids no. the importance of life, the importance of food, the importance of treating our animals as as living creatures that that their life ends so they can be on our plate. I yes, thought, sir. Are those ducks or a boy or a girl? I have no idea. We got two ducks just because. Bella, don't knock my camera over. We got two ducks. Just because, because I love ducks. He loves ducks and mom wants to do some for her photography stuff. Go on, Bella. Go on. She wants to do some Easter minis with some baby ducks and baby chicks. So we got a couple ducks. And, uh, you know, they're fun. It's just... A teaching tool for my kids anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this I know it's a super random video I know my my channel has nothing to do with with you know baseball but that's what my family's about and I want to show you guys I want to share our family life with you guys because I know you enjoy it but I also want to use it as a tool to show so many other people I got out a there baby chick. I want to show so many other people out there that you can do this stuff too you don't have to, to, to be in the woods checked out from the real world. You can do it right where you're at. Start small. Start growing something. Start producing something of your own. And I promise you, you'll appreciate it after you do. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
And as always, we'll see you on the next video. That's right. They're all cuddling under that light, aren't they, Houston? We can do this all day.